Good morning, and thank you very much to the CCE Health uh, UGM 2021 committee for this opportunity to present uh, the study. My name is Sitina Shriya Rushdi. I am currently a psychiatric resident in training at Universitas Saskia Jamada. I shall be presenting the, this study on behalf of the research team in which the principal investigator is Dr. Dr. Andes Madni Dewe. The title of this uh, presentation is Managing Postpartum Blues, Training Husbands and Midwives to Provide Social and Religious Support for Mothers uh, During a COVID-19 Pandemic in Changlingan. So what exactly is postpartum blues? Postpartum blues is a condition which is experienced uh, within the first week of a mother giving birth in which uh, she feels uh, may feel depression or anxiety or a difficulty uh, sleeping or eating. Um, postpartum women are especially, especially vulnerable to mental disorders during COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, they are fearful and anxious about their own and baby safety during delivery and postpartum. The COVID-19 pandemic um, has been found to affect up to 42.9% of postpartum women. And stressors such as economic difficulties, uh, family conflicts, domestic violence exacerbate stress and therefore postpartum blues. If postpartum blues are not adequately and promptly treated, it can put mother and baby at harm if these symptoms progress to depression and psychosis. However, social and religious support can help to overcome postpartum blues and husbands and midwives are in an ideal position to provide this kind of support. So the aim of this study is to improve knowledge and skills of midwives and husbands on early detection of postpartum blues, as well as how to deliver social and religious support to postpartum mothers. The second aim is to evaluate the decrease in postpartum depression scores after husband and midwife training. In this study, uh, we included uh, 16 mid midwives, 24 husbands and 24 postpartum mothers in a quasi experimental research with a pre-test and post-test one group design. The study period was from March to early June 2021. Participants um, were from three midwifery clinics and one uh, medical clinic, namely the Aziza Kriti Arum and Lanjar Midwifery Clinics in Changkringan, Sleman, and the PKU Muhammadiyah Changkringan Clinic. Uh, we used a number of tools in this study. Firstly, we had uh, a training module on social and religious support that we delivered to uh, midwives uh, via Zoom. Uh, we also use the Edinburgh Postnatal Depression Scale to measure postpartum depression scores. This uh, is a well-known uh, questionnaire which uh, has been used worldwide and consists of 10 uh, items to measure various uh, depressive symptoms in uh, postpartum uh, mothers. We also had questionnaires to assess the knowledge and skills of midwives and husbands on how to detect postpartum blues and how to deliver social and religious support, which we delivered uh, before and after training. The results are described quantitatively and qualitatively. Over on the right side, we can see is a screenshot of a Zoom meeting and the module that we used. And here are the main results. What we found was that with training, we were able to uh, see an increase in average scores on the questionnaires in midwife knowledge, skills, husband knowledge and husband skills. Um, in the area of early detection of postpartum blues and social and religious support of postpartum mothers. For instance, here we can see that midwife knowledge increased from 73 to 92, 
and husband knowledge from 58 to 80 out of 100. And midwife skills also increased from 66 to 85 and 45 to 71 in the post test uh, for husband skills. Uh, in the graphic below that, we can see that postpartum EPDS scores uh, decreased from 13 before training to seven after training. Now the maximal score for postpartum EPDS uh, is 30. And usually uh, I, uh, a score of above 13 would warrant a further examination with a, a, a doctor. Therefore, we can conclude that training can empower and improve the knowledge and skills of midwives to provide early detection, uh, social support and religious support for postpartum mothers in their community. Uh, empowering midwives and husbands can also decrease the average EPDS score of postpartum women in Changkringan affected by COVID-19.